Hello everyone, welcome back to Mobility Academy. I'm the flexibility guy, Coach Alia. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a beautiful exercise to stretch your hips, your adductors, and to work on your side split. This exercise is the one leg frog stretch, the active variation, okay? So if you haven't watched my one leg frog stretch video yet, make sure to check it out real quick so you can work also on this exercise which is the active variation of the one leg frog stretch okay but before i start let me ask you to subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on the notifications so you'll never miss one of my next videos okay with that said let's start all right guys so just to make a little recap of the one leg frog stretch do you remember what is the one leg frog stretch is this exercise here you just need a slider okay if you don't have a slippery floor you need a pair of yoga blocks and you need also a pillow okay so the one leg frog stretch is this exercise here where you have one knee on floor one foot on the slider and the mm, and the yoga block and you go down into the stretch okay so this is the passive variation okay you just gain range of motion you go down okay but now i want to show you the active variation which is the variation that allows you to build active flexibility in your adductors okay in your like in your hip abduction which is the movement where you bring your hip towards the outside okay where you spread your legs wide apart okay so to do the one leg frog stretch active variation you have two main options okay the first one is the um, is the option where you don't use a compensation in the stretch where you keep your hips leveled okay so let me show you what i mean with that so you are in the one leg frog stretch right here, okay? What you wanna do from here is to lift that foot off the floor, okay? So what you wanna do here is a movement like that. So you start from this position here, you keep your hips as squared as possible. And since I wanna lift my right foot, I don't wanna lift my right hip, okay? So I am here. And what I do from here is this movement here. Okay, so as you can see, as I move my um, my foot, I don't kind of move also my my hip up. Okay, I keep I keep my hip in the same place, and I just lift my foot. Okay, let me take you. Let, let me show you another time. Okay, so I do something like this. another time and again okay so as you can see I'm moving my leg up okay using my glutes and my quads strength and I'm trying to lift it as much as I can without moving my hips okay so my hips stay square okay and I just lift my foot and my leg off the floor Okay, I really like to use this variation to build a really good active flexibility and also strength in your glutes because you can't move your hips, okay? And you'll be forced really to squeeze your glutes, your leg, and also your abdominals. Because like, since you don't move your hips, you need to stabilize your entire trunk because you, like, you are in a position which is really unbalanced, okay? Because you have all the weight on this, on this foot, and since you you lift it off the floor, you need to stabilize the position with your core. So you need to squeeze your core. You need you need to squeeze your abs and to stay there and do this exercise here. So this variation is really useful to build active flexibility i suggest you do from five to eight repetitions holding each position for two to five seconds okay so let me show you what i mean with that so you are in this very in this position here and you want to lift your foot okay so you lift and you 
remain here. One, two, one, two, three, four, or, or one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you really want to make sure that you can completely extend your knee there. Okay, so you want to squeeze your knee, you want to stay there, staying with the with your knee really locked, okay, and just lift the, the leg. Now, as you can see, my max range of motion in a, in a frog stretch is way deeper than the range of motion I'm using here, because you need to find your, your spot, okay? So, for example, if I do a, the passive variation of the frog stretch, I can go almost all the way down, okay? But, I, of course, I can't lift my, my foot from this position. So, I need to come back in the position. I need to find my place, find a position where I can lift my foot like this of course the more you go out with your foot the harder it gets okay so okay it's really hard this this one is really hard guys okay so this is the first variation of the one leg frog stretch five to eight reps holding each position for a couple of seconds or five seconds, okay? Now, let's see the second variation of the one leg active frog stretch. All right, guys, this exercise here is really tough, okay? But the second variation I'm going to show you is, in my opinion, a little bit easier, okay? Because here, you're going to really tilt your hips to the side, okay? And this will decrease the, uh, the pressure on your abs, on your core, okay? But you will, you will be working like crazy with, with the active flexibility of your legs, okay? So the first variation without the compensations is really useful because you're not using the compensations. So you're, you're really forced to use your strength to do that movement but here you can express more flexibility so if you are really close to a certain goal to a certain active flexibility goal goal or if you're maybe an advanced and you want to work on your max range of flexible active flexibility i really suggest you try this variation here okay so you start in a one leg frog stretch okay but from this position here, you don't want to move from here, okay? So what you want to do is this, this movement here. You want to tilt your hips to the side and bend your leg like this, okay? From this position here, you want to drive this hip here in, okay? As if you want to, like, open that hip, okay? So I want to open that hip, and then from this position here, what I want to do is to extend my leg and bend. Extend my leg and bend. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. I can really feel this on my glutes. And extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, as you can see, this variation here is really different from the first variation, okay? Here I'm working with another angle on my hip abduction, on my active hip abduction, because I'm squeezing my muscles to move my body into that, into that position, okay? Guys, this is a, an active stretch, okay? There are passive stretches and active stretches. If you want to know the, the exact difference between them, I have a complete masterclass where you can learn all the stretching methodologies, everything about stretching, passive, active, all these kind of things, okay? It's a masterclass. It's really interesting, okay? And you need that if you want to improve your flexibility, if you want to master your flexibility level, okay? 
I have also a discount for you if you wanna if you wanna purchase the masterclass you can find the link in the description by the way this variation here is really interesting because you can work on your on your active flexibility using your max range of motion here you can't work on your max range of motion because you need to squeeze your abs you need to squeeze your your core i'm referring to the first variation okay so you you can't lift that like too much okay here it's more about your glutes strength and your active flexibility which are playing the game okay so again I want to show you another time this variation here this leg is bent okay because here there's no leverage okay you can really go up here with ease okay and now from here you want to drive this hip in front of you okay like out and from this position here you want to drive this leg up straighten it completely and come back Okay. Also here, I suggest you do from five to eight repetitions, ho holding each position for a couple of seconds. And on the last one, you can remain there a little longer, maybe 10 seconds as I've done, as I have showed here. Okay. Or, or maybe less, five to 10 seconds is, is okay. Just feel how you feel in the stretch if you are too tired maybe you want to do a little less okay so this is the second variation of the one leg active frog stretch all right guys that's all for this video about the one leg active frog stretch an excellent exercise to work on your active hip abduction okay to to spread your legs wide apart which is really important if you want to achieve the side split and if you want to stretch your adductors and improve your hips flexibility and strength because with this exercise right here you can work on both flexibility and strength okay if you give this exercise a go please let me know in the comments also if you have any further questions okay if you enjoyed the content please hit that like button let me know now with that said that's all from the flexibility guy coach alia have a nice stretch and some little nice cramps on your butt during this exercise here see you in the next video